This is a crappie, man. Oh, man. I'd crap my shorts. I'm thinking either a pickerel. That's a bass. A bass? It's a bass? I don't know. The way it's fighting, it seems like a bass. Crappie! Giant! Giant! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Buddy, that is a brown of a lifetime right there. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. I am with my good buddy Hayes today, just because there's a reason I'm with my buddy Hayes today. My last week of fishing has been an absolute shit show. Oh, camera's fallen. My last week of fishing has not been much better than Murray's. I've been driving around just like him, we're searching for lakes. We're on to lake number four this morning and uh, we're hoping that Eventually it'll pay off and we'll, we'll find a lake that has uh, fish in it. We found a, uh, we were on a lake this morning with great, great ice and real good weed beds. Um, and we just, we couldn't locate the fish. We drilled probably close to 30, 40 holes and it just didn't work out. So we're just gonna keep moving, running and gunning and uh, trying to get on fish. But when we do, we'll uh, press record, I'm sure. Wow, Hayes is extra talkative today. I like that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he said it. We are, we're literally on our fourth lake already today. It's already 12 o'clock. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> We've been grinding. I don't care, I can fall. We've been grinding, but yeah, stay tuned guys. Hopefully, he says we're gonna get on some fish, so stay tuned guys. Okay dudes, we just got to the fourth spot and uh, we're gonna leave everything in the truck for now, just because we haven't been here yet. So we're gonna bring one graph, one chisel, one rod, and we're gonna go check some ice. And if we do find some safe ice and we do find some fish, we will be coming back to grab the shack. All right, we're gonna get copyrighted. Little midday update. We are currently on our way to the fifth lake today. Lake number five. The fourth lake, the one you guys just seen we were at, we were, I think all I filmed was, was us walking out checking ice, but we did find safe fish ice. I think we found up to like four inches. Yeah, yeah, three and a half. But yeah. all we found was freaking little perch. So we're looking for crappies and we're not looking for perch, so. If, if we do not catch a crappie at the next lake, I'll stop fishing forever, okay? If we, if we don't catch a crappie at the next lake, I'll literally stop fishing forever. That's intense, And me, me saying that is something else. And so, if we don't catch one single crappie. So it's now, a for sure thing? That's it's a for saying. sure thing, but you know, it's just gonna be, you know, we're just eaters. gonna have to. Yeah, eaters, you know, nothing nothing special, but we're just, this is what we've, we're just trying to get on good ice here and, and catch the fish. It's just been a real struggle. I mean, Big struggle. See you guys at the next lake. Okay, dudes, we are finally freaking fishing. Hayes is marking. It is super sunny out here today. How deep are you? Me? Uh, 20 feet? Er, yeah. Oh no, I missed one. I missed one. Oh my god. It feels good, Hayes. Well, it's a little fish, but it feels good to set the hook after traveling to six different lakes today. There, it's the first fish of the day. 
tiny little crappie. Hoping we can get some more. Oh, Hayes is hooked up to a good one over there. That is sick. Let's do it. Okay. All right, dudes. It looks like Hayes has, has really found them. So we're gonna, we're gonna pull the portable over there and we're gonna hopefully tag team some crappies. They still down there? Oh, watch it. How did that happen? Oh, I got one on. Film me. I got That's one on. Film me. Oh, I lost it. How oh, did that happen? The wind? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yep. Not a bad one. Might be better. No. I don't know. I, I don't think it's too big. I think it's a good eater. Think so? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Beautiful eater. That's oh. just what we're looking for for tacos. Yeah. Fish taco right there. <laughs> Beauty, and I'm looking at That's sick. So, keeping this one? Oh, definitely, yeah. We'll just keep a few, probably six, eight, and. Yeah. Uh, you know, just enough for. Oh, here's a good mark some up here. Dinner. Oh, here I go, here I go. You're going? Come oh, on, come boy. on. Come on. How's it feeling? Oh, uh, this is just one of the, the dinker, dinker. One of those average fish? You know. But you know what? After a struggle like today, we've, we've it been feels having. good, dude. It feels good just to like have fish chase chase. After this whole week I've had, it I feels mean, good to have a fish chase yeah, me on like, the screen. You guys can attest. You know, I mean, whether you're fishing ponds, lakes, I don't care if you're in Africa, Texas, <laughs> Australia, China, Russia. <laughs> doesn't really matter where you are when you run around and fail that much. Oh, it is. Oh. It is great. Oh, to come. It's a good fish. And catch some fish. Oh, he wants me. Okay, that's a good one there. That's a good one. Ready for a double, guys? We're doubled oh, up. Oh, doubled up, I got, boys. Oh, mine's, oh. mine's got to be a bass or something. Really? Oh, that's a slab crappie. No way, dude. Grab the deucer. Grab the deucer? There's no way this is a crappie. Mine's got to be a pike or a bass. You think so? Here's my that's crappie. That's dinner. That is dinner. If this is a crappie, man, oh, man. I'd crap my shorts. I'm thinking either a pickerel. That's a bass. A bass. It's a bass. I don't know. The way it's fighting, it seems like a bass. Crappie. Giant. Giant. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys check this out. Oh. You cannot lie about yes, that. There's more down there. sitting with them. Oh my god. His buddy's sitting down there and I'm Look gonna at catch that. him. Honestly, we're gonna actually release this. Oh yeah. There's no way I'm gonna kill this. So what a beautiful oh, fish. No. Wow. I'm just gonna quit admiring it and drop back down and catch another one. Alright, in case you were wondering what happened to that crappie, uh we got some we got some pictures real quick for Hayes. Yeah. And let him go. Don't worry, he he swam to live another day. I got one shooting up six feet here to grab it, and hopefully I can. It's loaded get him. down there. Right I think now. I think the evening bite's starting to kick in here, and we're really oh, we're got really him. we're this is gonna be, be another eater, you know. Uh, we're really starting to kick him here. It's gonna be a good one. This will be an 11, 11 and that's a half. That's looking good. Oh yeah, baby. <clears throat> Beautiful. And they're just racing up. Come on. That is exactly what you're looking for right there. Just perfect crappie. About nine and a half, ten inches. Perfect for table fare. We'll grab, keep a few more, and then release the rest. I mean, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try the old Y fry. Can you guys see that? There we go. Good old Y fry by Euro Tackle. These things are extra juicy. Just to let you guys know, also. Um, Hayes is using spikes and wax worms. Mm -hmm. I'm using all. I'm using uh, artificial, just in case you guys were wondering. No, I think I think when you go when you go out fishing, and especially for panfish. Oh, if I'm out hole hopping, it's good I probably to have. want to have a plastic. It's good to have a plastic, but when you're when you got situations where you're you know warm and a portable. You're who warm and a portable. Who, who cares? cares if you're baiting your hook exactly. every time? Exactly. So don't be don't be uh, don't be afraid to go out and get yourself some some live bait and you know you know do some some good service to the local businesses because that's that's, that's true because fishing is a big economy 
um, especially here in Minnesota. You know, um, a lot of people fish, and it doesn't hurt to go out and stimulate the economy a little bit, huh? You got one there, Murray? Yeah, it's not too big, though. <clears throat> Just a little guy. Not even keepable. Oh, almost dropped the rod down the hole. Let him go, let him grow. Well, we've got, what do we got? Four beautiful crappies on the ice. I mean, perfect eaters. Are we gonna go eat these suckers after? We may. We may? We may fry them in Frank's Red Hot. Mm. Shout out to Colton Kramer for the recipe. Huge shout out to Colton Kramer. Man, you changed my life in the crappie Yeah, you game. changed Murray's life and you know, I can say that, you know, I've only had it had it once, but you cooked it and it was just incredible, so. Best thing ever, easiest and best thing ever. Oh yeah, there's nothing like it. If you haven't tried it, get some Frank's Red Hot. Use it as you would just use an egg wash and then straight into flour and then Fry. Got to make like sure that. you dry off those flays too before you, you you dry them off a little bit. Let them soak in that Frank's Red Hot. Oh, <sighs> my mouth's watering. Oh, is that on me? It up bit me. Up hit you. This could be an eater, guys. It's looking decent. Yeah, it's feeling pretty good. I mean, it's feeling like an eater. Oh yeah. Mm. Better throw him back. Yep, he's not gonna make it. But he's close. Eight. Comment down below, guys. Is that an eater? <laughs> I don't know if he is. Harvest. Should we keep him? Throw him back and let him decide. Look at this stack of fish here. Wow. Yeah, that's where I just caught that one. Look at this. Yeah, you know, this is a one of those. Another questionable one. He's really digging hard once he gets up to the hole here. He's, oh yeah, he's that a, one's an eater. Yeah, this one's a good crappie, I think. Oh my god! I tell you what, guys, pound your, for your line really tricks me. Pound for pound, I mean, put on some one-pound test and a little tiny, tiny little tungsten, and go out and catch some. You know what is this? An eight-inch crappie? You know that's gonna feel like you got a tuna fish on the end of your line. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh yeah. I think I might keep him. I would. He's pretty long. My bottom lip is quivering. <laughs> it's not as big as that. Hey, this is this is about how I mean this describes it perfectly. You see that? What does it turn that? You know, we're gonna release this one, but hey, we've got enough to eat. Plenty. <clears throat> Just because the limit's 10 doesn't mean you have to catch, keep exactly. 10. Exactly. You know, guys, you don't have to go out and limit out every time. It's nice. Once don't in get a while. me wrong. I have a big family. Yeah. I'll bring home 10, no problem. Hayes, it's just his and him and his grandma. Yeah, it's just me and my grandma, you know? Shout out to Hayes' grandma. Yeah, my grandma. Thanks. How you for going, Ruthie? Ruthie. It's Ruth. not even her name. I forgot this guy. her name. All right, dudes. Definitely think we're gonna wrap up the day today. The past week and today has been an absolute struggle, but it feels so good to finally get on some fish. I'm sure you guys are really happy too because we have not been catching a lot of fish in our videos lately. Sad to say, but hey, we finally got on them. Good, got got a little bit of help from our buddy Chase Chase Larson. He Chase gave Larson. us gave us a call. A good buddy of mine. Uh, really want to say thanks to him. And uh, you know, persistence pays off. That's basically the uh, motto of today's video. You know, you go around, search out water, and, and you just basically exit out until you can land on top of them. You know, we're not able to fish out of a boat like some people this time of year, and it's real easy to cover water when you're in a boat. Not on the ice, you gotta drill holes, you gotta move. You're gonna get exercise, so it's a benefit. And uh, yeah, it's good to, f to wax and fish with Murray. This is the best fishing I've, I've had this year. I'm sure it is the same for Absolutely. him. Absolutely. So yeah, um, I don't know. What do they do, hit the camera? <laughs> We're not done yet. If you guys could, go down here, like this video, <laughs> go share the crap out of this video, and please, 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 <laughs> go hit that subscribe button. And I guess all that's left to say, Hayes? What? You gotta start fishing more, man. Now you can punch it. All, all right, right guys. see you later. <laughs>
gotta start fishing more. <laughs> All right, Mary. Yeah, I'll, I'll start fishing more. You need to stop fishing. You need to start fishing less. <laughs> Let's roll. All right, I'm gonna catch this one.